And now what we're gonna get into today is a uh, mobile data toggle uh, widgets. Uh, now, mobile data toggle widget can really, uh, really improve your battery life, as it has mine. You know, it does mine, especially if you have a rooted phone or something like that. They're they're great. It's it's great. It's great for your phone. Um, not a problem if you have a CDMA phone. Most uh, widgets that you're gonna find for mobile data don't work on CDMA phones. They most likely only work for GSM phones, you know, AT&T, T-Mobile, things like that. But I did find a couple of widgets that do work for CDMA phones. So if you have like Sprint or Verizon or something like that, I think even US Cellular, I'm not sure if it's CDMA, but it doesn't run on a uh, SIM card. Um, you can use these widgets. But like everybody else, if you have AT&T, T-Mobile, which most people do have AT&T, uh, you can use these uh, widgets well, pretty much any widget you find in the, in the market. All right, so let's get into it. You're going to go into the market. I think a, a great, uh, I'm sorry, I have it off right now. I think a great application in the market, which is the application that I have downloaded already, um, is a beautiful widget. So I'm going to search that real quick. So oh, I already have it already in the, in the search, but you just search beautiful widgets. It's a great application. It does a lot more than just uh, mobile uh, mobile widgets, you know, mobile data widgets and things like that. And widgets, it does uh, like the HT, HTC Sense uh, style clocks and things like that. They actually came up with a lot of a lot of newer ones, you know. I think it does it better than HTC Sense. Uh, it's more customizable, and I actually had the HTC Hero, which which was the first phone in, in the U.S. that had the HTC Sense on it. You know, the, the original HTC Sense. You know, Evo has it and things like that now. But uh, I think it's a great widget. You know, let's get into that real quick. Obviously, to add, to add a widget, you're just gonna hold down on the screen for a while till this uh, other screen pops up. You're gonna hit uh, Add Item or where, however your phone is set up. You're gonna add a widget. Or you can just go into the menu and uh, hit add, and you can just go into the widgets like that. All right, I'm going to look for the mobile uh, toggle widgets. I'm going to click on there, beautiful toggle widgets. And uh, you can see it has brightness, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, you know, things of that nature. But I'm going to go to the mobile, and I'm just going to show you how this is. Uh, you know, it's a great widget. It's right here. Great widget, you know. But as you, if you pay attention, you look at the top of my mobile data, it, it does nothing. You know, you can turn it off. I can leave it for a while, turn it back on, nothing. You know, so this will, uh, this is a good widget, you know, but it'll probably only work for a GSM phone, AT&T, T-Mobile, things like that. And, you know, and then you're really going to want to use it, if you, especially if you have uh, AT&T and uh, T-Mobile, if you have HSBA+, because uh, those can really kill your battery since they, it has up to 4G speeds, which is basically 4G. Uh, so let's get into another widget though. A widget that I like is actually it's a mobile data widget as well and it's in the market. I'm going to search mobile data switch. Click on it right there. You can search mobile data widget, mobile data switch. If you search mobile data switch it's going to be the fifth one down. It's going to be this one right here. You're going to click on that. I already have it installed so I'm just going to show you how it looks. Um, get into that. Like I said you know obviously long press on the screen. You're going to add the widget. All right, I'm gonna look for the widget now. It's right here. All right, click on that. And you're gonna click OK. All right, here it goes. Right here, you're gonna drag it down here. Uh, it's a pretty simple widget. You know, it's basically on and off switch, like most uh, most widgets. Um, as you can, you probably can't see it, you know, but it has two lines going up and down, like a sort of like Galaxy S type of uh, uh, data lines. You know, they're colored and stuff like that. But if you if you tap on it, you're gonna see disabling mobile mobile data. Then it's, then they're gonna turn gray. And I can see them a little bit better, and then it's gonna say that it's off. You know, as you can see, it did actually turn off my mobile data. And I'm gonna turn it back on, enabling mobile data, mobile data, and it's gonna turn it right back on. So this one's a great widget. You know, it's free in the market. Just search uh, mobile data mobile data switch or mobile data widget. You know, either one should do. It should be in both of those searches. And another one I'm going to get into is at, uh, extended controls. Extended controls is a great, 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 great uh, set of widgets. You know, it, lo it works like the power controls, which obviously comes from the name, extended controls. Um, it's basically like an add-on to your power controls, but it works a lot different than your power controls because it has a lot of things that are customizable in it that you won't find in your uh, stock Android phone 
and the power control department. All right, so I'm gonna get into into a couple of settings of this. You know, I'm just gonna hit OK, whatever. Uh, you're gonna go down here. You add a uh, add new toggle. You know, it has 2G. You know, 4G data network, which is the one I have on here. It has a lot of things. Flashlight. It has a lot of things that you wouldn't see in a normal power uh, power control widget. You know, shut down haptic feedback. You got volume manager, uh, lock screen. Force sync, you know, media scanner, things like that, you know. It's a great widget. I would suggest buying it. I think they might have a free version of it. I don't know, but I mean, it's well worth, you know, the 98 cents or the dollar that it costs because it's just great. I mean, you can add any kind of widget that you want and, you know, in, in any kind of style. You can have them in this style. You can have them in another style. You can have them separately. Like I, I have the mobile data widget, you know. As you can see, it does turn off my mobile data. There it goes, you know, then it's off. You know, and I also have the brightness, I have the GPS, and I have the uh, sync, and I have the auto-rotate, you know. I can lock that or unlock it so it can make my, my screen turn, you know, when I turn it. Uh, or I can just unlock it. I mean, I'm sorry, I can lock it, and then it won't turn at all, you know, even when I, even when I turn my uh, phone sideways. So it's very customizable. I like it a lot. I suggest getting it, you know. It really works. It'll save your battery a lot, you know, because even when your phone is off, your phone, your um, your your phone will be searching for um, for three G signal, or if you have four G, or if you have HSPA plus, especially, I would suggest getting a, a mobile toggle widget, you know, because it'll really help out in your battery life a lot. Because uh, you never know when you're searching HSPA plus or HSPA or just three G, you know. But uh, if you have AT and T, T Mobile, definitely get this. You know, even if you have Sprint or whatever kind of phone, you know, Verizon's coming out with LTE. You know, I would suggest getting this. It'll save your battery life a lot. You know, you will notice a, a difference in your battery life. All right. Well, this is uh, this has been my video right here. I hope you rate and subscribe, and I'll leave a comment. I'm glad to answer any questions. All right. See you guys.